All right then, gang. So now we know how the routing system works in Nuxt and we've made a few pages. Awesome. Now at the moment, when we want to go to a specific page, we're typing that path out in the address bar and we're hitting enter to send that request. The dev server is then sending us back a pre-rendered page for that route, which is cool. But ideally, we want to have some kind of nav bar on the site so that we can just navigate around the different pages using those links. So we're not typing in the address bar all the time. So we're going to do that in this lesson but we're not gonna just use regular anchor tags in our code. Instead, we're gonna use a ready-made link component called Nuxt Link that comes bundled with Nuxt. And the reason we're gonna use that component instead of an anchor tag is because it's essentially supercharged with special features. Okay, so I'm inside the index.view component, the homepage inside the pages folder. And at the top of this page, I want to do a header. And then inside that header, a nav, and then we want a bunch of links inside this nav. Let's do a URL tag for all of those and then an LI tag for each link. Now, traditionally using HTML, we do an anchor tag, but we're not gonna do that. Like I said, instead, we're gonna use a ready-made Nuxt component called Nuxt link. So let's do that Nuxt link like so. And again, we don't have to manually import these components that are built into Nuxt because Nuxt automatically does that for us, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this has a prop to and basically here we're going to say well, where do we want this link to go to well this is just going to be forward slash because it's going to be a link to the home page so i'll just type home in between the nuxt link tags and then let me just duplicate this a couple of times so this one is going to be to forward slash about and then right here we'll say about and then over here we'll do products and then this will say products Okay, so now we have three Nuxt link components. Now, why are we using this instead of using regular anchor tags? Well, there's a couple of main reasons. When we have a regular anchor tag, so let me just make this down here. If I had this and I said, go to forward slash about, and we'll say normal link, and then double dash about page, just to say that this is a normal link on the page. Now, if I was to click on this anchor tag, inside the browser, then it's gonna make a fresh request to the server for that about route, if you like. Now the server is then gonna accept that and pre-render the about page, and it's gonna send that pre-rendered page to the browser. Now, that kind of behavior is fine in Nuxt when we're making the initial request for the home page, if you like, when we first go to the website, but thereafter, we want it to behave like a single page application. So we don't want to send additional requests to the server for other pages. Instead, we want Nuxt to just kind of swap out the components dependent on what page we're going to. And that's where these Nuxt link components come in. Because when we output these Nuxt links, we still see an anchor tag in the source code, if you like, when we view this in a browser. However, there's some added abilities to this anchor tag. And one of those abilities is that it intercepts any requests to the server. So instead of these requests going all the way to the server, Nuxt intercepts those, looks at them, and then just swaps out the components for these pages, which is good, it's quicker. So that's the first main reason we'd use these Nuxt link components. The second reason is that we also get some active classes applied to these automatically by Nuxt when we go to these different pages. So if I went to the about page by clicking on this link, then Nuxt would add in the HTML a class or a set of classes to this anchor tag, which would say that it's currently active because we're currently on the about page. So we could style it differently, which is pretty nice. So they're the major reasons that we're using these Nuxt link components instead. Now, what I'm also gonna do outside of the UL is another Nuxt link. So let me create that if I can, Nuxt link. And this is gonna be two, and it's just gonna be two forward slash, but this is gonna be for the site title. So I will say Nuxt Dojo right here like that. And I'm gonna save it. Now this at the minute is just on the home page. So let me grab that. I'm also gonna place it on the about page at the top as well. I'm gonna save this and preview now in a browser. All right then, so in the browser, I've just got to open the dev tools so we can see this HTML. And we can see this now for right here. And look, where we used a Nuxt link component, we still have an anchor tag, right? And the href is to forward slash in this case, which is right because we said we want this to go to the home page. But now look, we have these classes right here. 
router link active and router link exact active. So we can use those to style this differently if we wanted to, to say this is the current page. And inside this URL, we have all of these LIs right here, one for each link. And inside there, we have anchor tags as well. All right. So again, for the first one, because we're on forward slash the current page, we have these active classes. And then in this one, you can see the href is forward slash about, but we don't have those active classes. And same goes for this one. However, now if we click on about, and in fact, what I'm going to do is go to the network tab, just so you can see when I click on this, there is no extra request for the about page to the server. So if I click on this, we can see we get this fav icon request, but no request for the actual about page. And we're now on the about page. All right. If we go back to elements, we can see that now if we inspect this, this now has the active classes. Pretty cool, right? And this one doesn't, the home page. So if we go to products, then we can see hopefully, now we don't have the links over here, but we can go to the network and we can see that we didn't get a request for the products page. So what I'm actually gonna do now is go back to this page. And now if I clear this, this is the normal link, right? To the about page. So it's gonna to go to forward slash about. Let me go to the home page first and clear this. But this time when we click on this, because we're sending an extra request to the server, we're gonna request that page from scratch and we're gonna get that pre-rendered page back. So watch down here, I'm gonna click on this and you can see all of these requests now, including this about page right here. So these right here using Nooks links give us a more efficient way to navigate around the site. We don't send those requests to the server when we don't need to. And also we get those active classes and we're gonna use those active classes in the next lesson to style these a little bit more when we talk about layouts.